G'day everyone, Macca here, back for 2010. Today I'm at Ross Nimo's house. Now he's got a bike that is muy caliente, which is Spanish for shit hot. It's a big Montessa. Let's go and check it out. You there, Ross? G'day, hey, Macca. How you going, mate? How you going, mate? Good, Good to see, see you. you. Yeah, hey, what's, what's going on? I'm just working away on one of my Montes. Your mate. Montes. Now, that's what we're here to, to, to see today, is Montessas. Yeah. Tell us about Montessas. A lot of them were uh, sold around here in the, the late 70s. A lot of guys raised them, Floody and Brooksy, and I was only a young kid then, and nice to see them guys going pretty quick on these particular bikes, which were a lot different than all the other Jap stuff around at the time, and uh, just fell in love with them. Mate, you know, I've been had a quick look around. You've got Montessas everywhere. Mm. Mate, you've got some old riding tops up there. Tell us a bit about them. They're all got a bit to do with the Montessas, like there's Greg Flood motorcycles, he's actually sold Montessas here in Ballarat, Phil Russell motorcycles from Warrnambool, they were big dealers, actually got a little Montessa BMX bike off them. The BMX bike, tell us the story about that, that's quite interesting. Oh, the, the BMX bike, uh, the guy just rang me up and said, oh, I've got a Montessa here for you, and I said, no, I'm full up with Montessas, he said, no, this one, it's not going to cost you anything, I thought, oh, okay, and uh, so I went around and he threw this BMX bike at me, and the story is, it was imported by Lyle O'Brien that Montessa sent it over to him. He gave it to Philip Russell and his kid rode it into the ground and then this guy ended up with it, sat in the attic for about 30 years and the rest is history, I've got it now. Okay, so tell us exactly how many Montessas you've got and what they are. Uh, I've got four of them Macca. I've got uh, this one, which is the uh, VR. I've got a VF414 Capra. I've got another VF414 Capra, which is an original one and I've got H7250 Enduro. Yeah, speaking of 414, that's what we've come to see today. Mm -hmm. So let's go and have a look. Come over this way. Now, mate, this is the mighty 414. This is it, Macca. It's the, uh, the be all and end all of my testers, in my book anyway. What's so good about this? Well, it was the last big bore motocrosser that um, Montessa made. The 360 they had for years and years, and then they just upped it to 414 in 1979. All they done was basically put a bigger piston in and made the stroke a bit longer and um, it was their new big ball bike. Um, they've got a very heavy flywheel in them which makes them very torquey and that's why you'd nearly be fooled that they do have a reed valve because they pull from the very bottom. And uh, Peter Christian, who was, uh, said was a top rider one, he said he liked them because they're a lazy man's bike. Right. They were very easy to ride and that's why I like them. So you're a lazy man. I'm obviously. a very lazy man okay. when it comes to riding. <laughs> Okay, now I've, I've done some research. Now I believe that my, these are very, very unreliable. How do you deal with that? Oh, well, that's a myth, I'm afraid, Macca. That's, a myth. Uh, yeah, that's made up by people that ride all those inferior brands. I can assure you, if you kept the air cleaner clean on these bikes, nothing ever. You just ran them and ran them until they wore out. You just put pistons in them. You didn't even, uh, you didn't even re bore them. No worries. <laughs> Ross, thanks for showing us around your shed and for being part of Blokes and Their Bikes, mate, you're not going to go away empty-handed. This year, all of our featured blokes get some sensational stuff for being part of the segment from King Chrome and also some terrific products from our good friends at Motul to keep your bike looking trick, no matter what vintage. What do you think of that, mate? That's great. Thanks, Macca. OK, well, that's all we've got for this week. We'll see you next time, but remember, if it's classic, it's fantastic. Yeah.